Uh, we have huh. 41, 41 students, right? 41. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, everybody. I see you Good morning. <laughs> Uh, uh, Professor Lee and I were just having a little joke. She's a little bit nervous. Uh, there's already there's 43 students that have um, logged in. That's great. Um, I'm very happy to, to bring an old friend um, as a guest lecturer. Um, uh, Professor Lee and I, uh, we did our MBAs together, actually. Um, and yeah. uh, since that time, uh, Professor Lee has uh, been a very interesting entrepreneur by having several different businesses. Um, some were related to her PhD in childhood education, uh, which she did uh, a lot of like for young learners and for different games, activities, and um, uh, focused on childhood education. And then she returned to her passion, which was food and opening a restaurant. Uh, I'll, I'll let her talk more about that in her presentation, and she's going to um, uh, share her PowerPoint with us, and then she'll walk through. Uh, same as our last speaker, if you have any questions at any time, please send me a message through the or not Kakao, through the, um, the Zoom uh, chat feature. You can send me the question to um, directly only to me or you can send it as an open question to all of the class to see. Uh, then that, I, I prefer that you send the open question so that way other students can see so that you don't ask the same question. But if you don't feel comfortable sending me the, or sending an open question, just send it to me directly. And at the end of Professor Lee's uh, presentation, um, I'll start uh, asking her questions. Um, you know, it, uh, it's always really good to get questions from the students because I'm sure uh, a lot of you have the same questions for P P Professor Lee. So, uh, so without much uh, further ado, I'll go ahead and uh, introduce uh, Professor Lee or let her introduce herself. So let me go ahead and give control uh, to Professor Lee. Go ahead and uh, take over. <laughs> Hello, do you hear me? Yes. Yes, thank you. <laughs> ah, you know, I'm getting nervous. It's been a, uh, uh, it's been, a, you know, it's a long time to, uh, uh, since I spoke English. Uh, you know, it, I live in Daejeon, so imagine uh, there's, there's a, you cannot see uh, open, the foreigners, <laughs> so <laughs> you have no chance to speak English. <laughs> so I hope you understand. Huh? Yeah, <laughs> please show me. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. Show me uh, your reaction. <laughs> and and Hanmi, I, I see behind you. Is, is that your food and beverage establishment behind you? Yeah, uh, yeah, so it, uh, behind me. This is my restaurant building. It's not my. I'm not owner of this building. <laughs> the first floor, the second floor. You see? Yeah. Uh, imagine. Uh, this time I uh, driving to my work and I uh, prepare the food. Uh, I think this time. <laughs> ah. Okay, uh, I, let's take it. <laughs> uh, okay, let uh, shall, shall we move? Ah, okay, my name is Lee Hanmi. Uh, uh, my major was uh, uh, child education is you know the gifted children. Uh, I uh, the uh, yeah 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 gifted. Hey 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 yeah yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> Honey, don't be nervous. It's okay. Just go ahead and go. Uh, okay, let's move. <laughs> 
let's share. Uh, uh, my talking is on the uh, uh, PowerPoint. Ah, uh, this is the the Iwagaibi restaurant that are presentative uh, food, uh, beef ribs. Uh, so first, uh, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> uh anyway. No, how is COVID-19 in Incheon? Very, uh, probably pretty similar serious. to- Pretty uh, serious. Yeah, serious. Serious. Yeah, this one also very serious. Uh, we have, I have uh, two kids, middle school and high school. Uh, but it is the COVID-19 spread at high school. So my, uh, uh, high school daughters and uh, middle school sons cannot cannot go to school. So two uh, kids are stay home and they have a lecture in her, in their room now, like like me. <laughs> so I give a lecture, but students, my, my kids have each room and have a study now. Ah, uh, you know, I'm I'm honored to be uh, invited this course. Uh, one and a half uh, course uh, hours is not very short time, but I think I was very brave to take this course <laughs> because you know, <laughs> uh, 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 when the professor Brennan asked me. Uh, do you want me to give a, pre a presentation uh, about your restaurant? So I, any, uh, without no hesitation, uh, yes, I would. <laughs> mm -hmm. I uh, permit it. Uh, but um, but very, it, for a short time, I'd like to share uh, my business marketing I've done while running the restaurant. Uh, in fact, uh, I have a lot of Zoom uh, meetings, you know, the church and, uh, and church worship and the Bible training or the small meetings. Uh, I used to, but I'm used to Zoom, but it's the first time to give a lecture. So uh, I think I'm very uh, nervous now, <laughs> but uh, I think it's getting better now. Uh, okay. You know, uh, my name is Lee Han Mi, Han Mi, but I have a, a nickname. Do you know who is she? Anna. Anna, right, Anna. <laughs> uh, who, uh, she is the main character of Disney uh, mo movie, uh, Frozen, right? Mm -hmm. I, I like her character. She is very uh, bright and cheerful and active and pure. And like she is very tomboy girl, even pretty, right? Mm -hmm. Sure. So I chose her name as uh, my nickname so you can uh, call me Anna. <laughs> In Korean, Anna. <laughs> okay, please try me. Uh, call me Anna or Anna. Anna. Ah, Anna. thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, do I look alike? Of course. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Maria. Shoot. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, uh, you know, it was a nail sengsa means uh, every day makes a birthday meal. It's the first two words, nail sengsa. And katsajang means, uh, I means God is my owner, but uh, kat means kimchi, a kind of kimchi, the katsajang. You, you, you got it? Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you. Let's move on. <clears throat> you see, uh, this is my another restaurant. I've run eight years uh, in 19, uh, 2013. Uh, so the Iwasu Yukeza. Uh, isn't it beautiful? Yes. Yeah, the outside is, uh, the building is like a cafe, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, it is a franchise uh, restaurant called Iwasu Yukeza. I think uh, you tried once near your uh, country, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yuasu Yukezang is very famous for the traditional Yukezang. Who tries once? Ah, Maria? Uh, yes, I wanted to ask you what is the most famous uh, dish in your restaurant? What is uh, the dish that your restaurant is famous for? Ah, is Yuasu Yukezang is Yukezang. Yukezang? Uh, right, you, you see the picture? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I have, originally I have three uh, restaurants. One is, uh, two is Yukkejang, uh, Iwasu Yukkejang franchise. One is, uh, the other is Iwa Galbi. Now I'm uh, running. But one one of one of them was uh, forced to fold because the building owners kicked me out mm -hmm. because they because he wants to uh, open a very big uh, restaurant. So I I cannot help to close to my uh, restaurant. So I have a two now. Uh, next time I will buy a building <laughs> one day and I'll be a good uh, building owner for tenant. <laughs> it, because at the time it hurts me a lot. Uh, they forced me, please kick. So I cannot help. So, so Iwasu Gezang is, uh, I do my best to, to keep the taste keep the taste to you get uh, that's why is the, the restaurant is doing well even now uh, uh, but uh, I'm not in charge of uh, uh, you get my parents in law and my uh, sister in law in charge as we call it the family restaurant my family uh, runs you uh, uh, Iwasu Yukeza and Iwagaibi. And my husband, uh, uh, he is the first son and he's in charge of uh, financial part. Uh, he, he has uh, two jobs. Uh, he works at the company and in the evening, he helps the restaurant. Okay, uh, Iwa Galbi, uh, this is a real Galbi. Pla uh, this, this place is called the uh, Inopolis Dedok, which is a collection of most research and science and uh, technologies in Korea. For example, KAIST, uh, the Korea, Korea Institute of Science and Technology, where is uh, 
uh, and Chaunde. Um, Chaunde means a uh, place is the domestic military training school. So it's located next to each other. I think it's a perfect uh, location for a uh, uh, restaurant. My uh, target audience were, is highly edu uh, educated elite. Uh, age is from uh, 40s to 60s. They, um, uh, later I, was, I will explain, but they spend uh, money with the company money. They spend money with, uh, you know, company. <clears throat> You see, it's a uh, busy days. The left side is photo is the foreigners visit. Uh, <clears throat> they traveled the town day. So soldiers, uh, they uh, they visited the town day. They want to have a, a lunch. So uh, they had a. a Photo here in front of uh, Iwa Kalbi. So I take I took a picture. So I said, <clears throat> "Are you ready?" I take the picture and I say, "Iwa, you say Kalbi, <laughs> Kalbi." <laughs> so I will take a picture of you. I say, "Kalbi, Iwa, you say Kalbi." Okay. Now, ready? Yeah. Yes. I say, "Iwa." So they back you they had a left. <laughs> the right side is uh, 100, 100 people uh, had a lunch. Uh, they are from town day, the military. Uh, they are uh, of military office people. Uh, they uh, they had a reservation in Kalbita and some uh, very Shiregi uh, Chadulgui, very, you know, hot summer day, very hot day outside, very hot. 100 people at the same time ate the Kalbita, very hot, uh, hot. So, you know, imagine the, uh, the atmosphere. <laughs> So the time was uh, crazy now, crazy for me, but it uh, was a happy day, but uh, not now, you know, uh, it's impossible. You agree, right? Uh, this is the interior, you are the interiors. Uh, first, uh, first, uh, ground and second ground. It capacity is 100. Uh, 41 seats in the, the first uh, hall. The second the floor is on 60. <clears throat> this is a menu board. So uh, beef, beef ribs is quite expensive, right? <laughs> Uh, and pork leaves. Uh, you know, the price is quite expensive, right? Oh, what about what about you? What do you think about this? Because, because the high uh, prices, my customers, you know, they rarely uh, spend their money. They don't spend their money, but they spend their uh, company money. You know, they are at they are uh, they are PhD and uh, a masters. They work the project, uh, so uh, they have a project money. Uh, for so for Hanu Yangnyeom, the yeah. price was updated. Updated. Yeah, like nine hundred nine looks. <laughs> Nine hundred. Uh, yeah. First, I started uh, twenty nine thousand one, but nine hundred of the updates. 
<laughs> Very <laughs> small. <laughs> Because uh, you know, uh, thirty thousand over thirty thousand one more is is feel but expensive. But mm. under <laughs> under uh uh thirty thousand one uh, feels mm, not that expensive. Yeah, it's That's the my 90, 99 effect, the 99 right. effect. So 99 yeah. cents seems so much cheaper than one dollar, but it's the right, the right, right. right. <laughs> okay, I will uh talk more in detail. Uh, the it can be divided main meat and lunch special. Uh, <clears throat> this is main meat. Uh, hanuk, beef leaves, uh, pork, and shiregi, halbi jim, very spicy. Yeah, this is uh, beef leaves. Uh, it takes sweet and salty, you know. We call it in Korean, tanja danjan. Danjan danjan, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it lost it on the uh, charcoal fire. Uh, Let's see the video, the sounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, the sounds is uh, you want to eat, right? <laughs> yeah, the recipe came from the very famous kalbi ji, you know, kudok kalbi. You can uh, search it later. Kodokalbi is the very famous Hanu beef ribs. Very expensive. Uh, it's pork rib. It's, the pork rib is very popular in my uh, restaurant because the price is uh, 12,000 12, won. So they uh, first they eat, uh, customer eats Hanu ribs and they change it to pork ribs. When we first start, uh, first uh, we don't have, we we didn't have the pork ribs. But later, later we start to sell pork ribs because uh, Hanu, <clears throat> Hanu uh, beef ribs not common, so the price is a little bit high. So, so a customer asked me, Oh, too expensive. Do you have a pork ribs? So I, yeah, at that time I, uh, I start to sell. Uh, this is a shiregi kalbitji. You wonder what mark is. Why is that? Guess. Only after 19? Only alcohol. after 19? Mm. It has alcohol in it. I call, no. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, Maybe it's too spicy. Too spicy, but uh, we when you um, uh, see the movie over nineteen, is we can we we can say so hot, right? <laughs> so hot. <laughs> so the shiregi kaibichi is so hot, <laughs> spicy. <laughs> uh, so so the the cust customer guest ask me. Why 19, over 19, why is that? They continually ask, okay, guess. After you eat kalbi chip, and then you will know it. <laughs> mm, this is for lunch, three menus for lunch. Shiregi chadolgui, and sokuri babsang, and kalbi tang. <clears throat> The first uh, shiregi grilled beef brisket. Uh, shiregi uh, is a reddish, uh, the dried reddish uh, leaves from uh, uh, Gangwon-do. You know Gangwon-do? Mm -hmm. It's uh, located uh, Gangwon-do. Yanggu shiregi is very famous. The uh, leaves are very soft and delicious. We order from that. Uh, take a look. Let's take a look at video.
Yeah, visual is. Uh... <laughs> do, do, do you have a breakfast? No? <laughs> you you all hungry. <laughs> you, uh, this is a shopping mall. After uh, post corona, they have to corona, uh, we open a shopping mall. We, kim, we sell kimchi and side dishes. <clears throat> now, uh, uh, I uh, give you uh, briefly, I, exp I explain, uh, introduce uh, my uh, restaurants. Uh, now, I'm going to tell you about why I quit the, my uh, job and I am concentrated on the managing uh, restaurant. Uh, you know, I gave a lecture on brain uh, development program for kids, uh, children, uh, gifted children. I participated in teacher training uh, classes and gave a class in over middle school and high school students. And I uh, give, uh, gave a lecture in the classes at Tejan University. Uh, you know, I'm spelled, uh, you know, but uh, uh, while I am uh, uh, have my job, but I opened, my family opened the restaurants. Uh, but, uh, you know, wait a minute. This one is first. Uh, -uh. uh the Iwagaibi first started the print uh, Iwagaibi franchise has started a restaurant a system. Uh, the owner don't have to be there. Employees uh runs uh the restaurants. So I agree because I, I have a job, so I don't have to be there. Uh, so, uh, so I, so we, Iwa Su Yukkezang also and uh, Iwa Galbi uh, was, the start was uh, very fine. So I, I can have uh, two jobs. Eh? I have, I have a lecture, I have a lecture at school. I have a res two restaurants. It looks like rich, right? But after a year, uh, the number of customers decrease. Uh, there is a crisis. Sales are hit hard. I think uh, the customer notice there is no owner. Only employees are work. Uh, and uh, and I often heard that the customer complained the amount of meat was uh, small compared to price. And uh, the side dishes was not delicious. And the number of dishes are small. For uh, furthermore, so we we have uh, troubles, uh, negative cost, and expensive food ingredients because franchise the step by step, so it's quite expensive. Uh, so, uh, no, even more. There are three uh, Iwagalbi restaurants in Daejeon. Mine was uh, the first, the second, the third the restaurant is uh, the other place. They are also suffered from uh, uh, same management difficulties. Other two Iwagalbi is uh, shut down after two years because of the difficulties. Mm. So I 
uh, decide my mind, I quit my job. I had to uh, concentrate on managing uh, Iwagalbi. So, so I, uh, at the, from that time, I studied. Uh, first, uh, for the uh, advertisement, uh, SNS, uh, I learned how to, uh, uh, how to advertise Facebook first, and then vlog, Instagram, etc. Uh, so I took a lot of pictures. I took a lot of pictures and posting them, posting them to the uh, to Facebook and Instagram and blog. At the time, I realized the food looks must be looks good. Look good, uh, is delicious. Looks good is delicious. So I checked uh, the my food ingredients and a taste of food thoroughly, uh, thoroughly and that's, that's something I did first. These books I read for uh, the uh, marketing strategy. Uh, I regularly uh, posted pictures of my daily life on uh, Facebook. Stories, uh, all stories from restaurants. Uh, the response of food take, yeah, the uh, the food uh, was pretty, right? And then uh, I honored it. It's, I started uh, Instagram uh, in 19, uh, 2019 and I posted a lot of pictures. Uh, do you have Instagram, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, you do. Uh, can it's I blogs. Ask a question? Yeah. Uh, was it hard to uh, get the followers on Instagram? Like how did you promote restaurant Instagram? This one. Promote? Uh, I mean. How did you gain followers? For, for uh, followers, people? followers. Ah, followers. Uh, you know, uh, pictures. <laughs> <laughs> but ah, uh, um, first I uh, ask, I ask the uh, the Instagram advertiser. Mm. Ah, first, at the, uh, first time I ask the Instagram advertiser, they spread my pictures and photos, and get the uh, followers. Mm. And I stop, and I, I, I am getting know how to uh, make uh, 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 followers. So I go, <laughs> I go, I go. Yeah. Uh, so, so vlogs. So Professor Lee, so first you did a paid service to be able to to get followers, and then later you learned yourself to try to get more followers organically by yourself. Correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. Is it blog like uh, Facebook? Uh, many people post their uh, daily uh, experience, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's an important tool for informing restaurants, but I'm not uh, good at uh, blogs, but um, the people's, um, no, people's visit, uh, uh, the restaurant and they had they wrote the blog and posted. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of word of mouth advertising, but using a blog, people put their personal experiences. So we say e word of electronic word of mouth or word of mouth just talking person to person. Yeah, good. Right, right. right. Wait a minute. <laughs> ah. Now, let's move. Uh, 
So was I was this is one of the marketing strategies I use is uh, retro strategies. You know? uh, in these days we call it neutral strategies. Uh, those who come to my restaurants most from 40s to 60s, mostly men. Uh, those who uh, they have a master degree, I told you. I think I think they they uh, have a cutting edge elite. I want to them make them feel nostalgic and uh, and talking about old days. So I changed the atmosphere of the restaurants uh, from uh, atmosphere of the restaurant from music. So uh, it's my favorite song. So let's listen. Ah, give you a chance. So it's a kiss. Uh, it's a please let me know the uh, the na the name of some. Red Okay. <laughs> yeah. Sunny? Aka? Oh, Maria. Sunny, Sunny, Maria. Sunny. Sunny. <laughs> <laughs> extra credit, nice. extra credit for Maria and Aka. All right, good, you got it. Yeah. Yesterday my life was filled with rain. Sunny, sunny, sunny. You smile at me and really ease the pain. Uh, hey. So, <laughs> so people's. Uh, customers come to my restaurant and expecting what song will be on today. Uh, the second uh, retrospect marketing stuff. Uh, this is a uh, sokuri, mm -hmm. egg fried, and side dishes. I will explain one by one. You know, sokuri babsang, have, have you, uh, the basket was one of the tools for carrying uh, snacks when uh, countryside farming in the countryside. Uh, but one day I visit a, a restaurant in the countryside there is a table menu with the side dishes in the basket. Oh, the basket was easy to carry. You know, uh, in, in the restaurant, we put the dishes one by one, but the, in the basket, we carry all one at once. Oh, very easy. I thought it's a good idea. Okay, I should bring the, this basket as an idea. The sokuri was the pretty, you know, it's very, uh, it's bamboo pretty, bamboo, uh, so bamboo basket, as easy to carry, and it looks, you can put in the basket anything. So I am setting like this. And we, because I have dishes in, uh, in my restaurant, and I, sometimes I put the leaves on here. This is all the time. So, uh, so I uh, consider what do I put in this basket? I uh, uh, so I last finally I decide I put here <laughs> my love and sincerity in the basket. You will know. Uh, so this is the stories of what uh, the sokuri baksa. I put the foods here, 
as in a tape uh, the table is pretty it, that's very very beautiful like very visual and it's also Visual, very, right. uh, like the, the easy way to bring out but also the presentation looks really nice yeah. mm. very colorful too colorful right colorful so i when i make a, a dishes i think about the colors mm. uh this sort of red and white and blue and green like this it's a perfect pic uh, is uh, dishes are perfect for taking pictures. So. Okay, next, egg fried. The uh, this idea was a fried egg uh, found in the Facebook. I uh, by a uh, piece of friends. The contents was uh, mm, he opened. He opened uh, the lid. Lid. There is uh, uh, egg rolls in the rice. Rice. So uh, open the lid slightly and close it. Ah, so I got the idea. Ah, where? Uh, that's where I got the idea. There's uh, there's something I combine the idea with the uh, idea on old lunch box. I it reminds me of the old lunch box. So when you open the lid, there's a gift. Uh, like, uh, it's a, a surprising gift. Uh, so let me see. Uh, let's see the video. Yeah. Yeah, like a peekaboo, you know? Open. Oh. They, uh, they, Customers are surprised. Wow, it's a gift. It's a, they, they start to talking about the memories. Uh, all the time, in the old times, my mother uh, gave, uh, gave me uh, uh, egg fries in the lunch box. So uh, he, sometimes uh, my mother hi hide it under the uh, rice because you have to eat yourself, by yourself. You, it alone because on top people together let's share <laughs> <laughs> like this uh, so egg fries remind customers old lunch box the memories <clears throat> honey uh, honey yeah. it, 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 I, I see it like a, a theme because you the music is kind of retro to your target market 40s to mm. 60s, plus the doshidak is also kind of reminiscent of when they were young. So you're kind of focusing on that, mem like a good memory of their childhood and also your restaurant. Right. So very conscious. Yep. Mm -hmm. This, these are the reviews. Mm. They are touching. Surprise, they say touching, surprise. So my mother reminds me of my mother. And yeah, yeah, they all say like, oh, wow. And surprise, yeah. Egg fries, only egg fries. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oops. Uh, these are side, side dishes, 12 side dishes, uh, salad, kimchi, and uh, sauces, and uh, lettuce. Uh, so guess what is the best, best of best? Kimchi. Kimchi? Well, what's the most, the most popular with your customers or what you think is the best one? Me? You are you asking what what your I, I'm asking you which dish is the best uh the very popular uh, among popular. twelve. Yeah. yeah. Karamari. Karamari. No, the Thumb. sausage. Thumb. 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 No, no, no. Let me show you. Jan. Uh, sausage. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You know, it also sources is uh, very, uh, the memories <laughs> all the times they eat sources. So 
you know, out of the sausage, uh, we, we make the sausage again, again, deliver, <laughs> ask, sausage, please, one more sausage. <laughs> mm -hmm. So uh, I think it's big sausage, you know, we, mm -hmm. for one day, I think it's big one. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, yeah, next is so, uh, take out because of uh, Corona COVID-19, post uh, so kim, kak kimchi and ready to eat uh, meat and doshira. <clears throat> you know, kak, have you uh, heard about kak kimchi? Mm -hmm. You know, uh, kimchi is very popular in the restaurant. Uh, Ka kimchi is not popular. Only uh, Yosu, you know, Yosu is east, the ne next to sea, the south of uh, Korea, and next to sea, Yosu is Dulsan God is in Yosu is. So very famous. It tastes the mustard taste is very strong uh, because it grows uh, near the sea. Uh, Yosu is famous for its uh, dulsan gat. So I ordered the uh, gat from Yosu, make a gat kimchi by, uh, with my own sauce. It tastes good. Uh, it tastes good with galbi tang, you no know, galbi tang soup. You no know, cabbage kimchi, you know, no more cabbage kimchi is be eaten at any restaurant, but few restaurants, except, except for kim, yosu, kak kimchi is, uh, is not common. So we serve, uh, my restaurant serves kak kimchi as a side dishes. So uh, that's why people uh, call me kak sajang. Kat, kat uh, yeah. So, variety of kimchi. <laughs> Do, <laughs> thanks to the delicious uh, kimchi sauce I have, so I could make a very various kinds of kimchi. You know, sauce is almost the same. The methods to make a kimchi is different. Uh, depends on the uh, the uh, KBZ or pagimchi or uh, uh, So I got the uh, result producing uh, very kinds of kimchi like this. <laughs> funny, Aka, okay, that's funny. Uh, oh my God. Kimchi <laughs> in the chat here. He wrote, "Oh my God, kimchi!" Like the, the yeah, yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, but but God instead of God. Oh my God, kimchi. Sorry, you have to. That 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 was a good one. <laughs> 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 so you can use that for your marketing. Oh my, and then give us ah, uh, yes. Oh my God, kimchi. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Uh, oh my God, Kimchi. <laughs> yes, yes. So, God, uh, oh my God, Sajangnim. Yes. Oh, oh my God, Sajangnim. You can call all oh my Sajang. Oh my God, Sajangnim. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, even foreigners, uh, even it's spicy, uh, they like it. Uh, I started delivery lunch boxes uh, after Corona. I made it. Uh, I made the lunch box by selecting nine out of 12, uh, 12 side dishes, adding uh, some meat. You know, some people order and eat it at the uh, meetings because it tastes. They say they taste better than. Uh, other franchise uh, uh, lunch uh, delivery. 
Pan me, uh, there's, uh, there's, there's a question uh, from one of the students. Uh, she asks, you know, because I can see here, like one's pork, one's beef. How do you manage the quality, keeping the the good quality and doing delivery? How can you keep uh, like a like a good quality? Is it by time or by you know by by making it very fresh and then quickly sending it made to order, or is it like yeah. prepared or what do you do? Mm, only I uh, uh, only reservation, make a call. And tomorrow, uh, the guest asked me, tomorrow I will, uh, at 12, we have a lunch. So we ask you uh, 12 or 20 uh, lunch boxes. So then in the morning, I prepare. Uh, so you have a so delivery I, system where you have them reserved prior, so that way you can guarantee the quality by the, the time delivery. Ah, right, perfect. so in the morning, Call, please deliver the two box, two lunch boxes. No, mm -hmm. only in advance. And over uh, 10 lunch boxes. Oh, the delivery. The, oh, the, only, minimum, the only, minimum is 10? Yeah, right. Ah, OK. You know, quite expensive. The Toshiga one for is 13, 13,000 The beef. It is a fifteen thousand one. Hanu dips is twenty thousand one. Mm -hmm. The price is not. But I I think the pricing is fine because you said your market is mostly masters, PhDs, university kind of officers in the military. So the price range is probably fine. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Right. right. So I made the that prices. Next. Let's see, one of my customer ha uh, had the lunch and they made the video. Let's see. Do you hear? It's the music there. <laughs> 그 밤에 그밤 어머니의 주름 그 사이로 그 밤에 그밤그 밤에 그밤 따뜻한 별빛이 내린다 I mean, that, that, that is one happy customer, I think, to make that video. So they must have, they must have loved the food. That's great. He likes me. Yeah, so. He enjoyed my food. So. Uh, so shopping mall, I sell the kimchi and kimchi. You can, I will send you later the, uh, the address <laughs> you can order. <laughs> Hanmi, if you is live that, in Tejan. Is that national that goes everywhere or is that just for Daejeon? No, just for Daejeon. I <laughs> deliver. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have uh, the special event, Sokuri, uh, special Sokuri Babsang is uh, for birthday. You know, Biyokku is a sea with the uh, soup. When you you uh, birthday you eat. I mean in Korea in Korea, uh, we eat a uh, uh, sweet soup, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, uh, so I want to, uh, you know um, in these days, uh, people lives single. Single. Many people live by themselves. Yes. Yeah. Well, right, right. So they, the birthday parties, uh, the you know, remember. So my mother 
prepares the birthday party side dishes and soup, but cannot eat by themselves. So I want to uh, treat uh, when customers is they are. Uh, no, when they're by <laughs> themselves, so that way they they feel that they get a special day, even though they're by themselves. Right. <laughs> sure. mm -hmm. So, uh, so, uh, mm, so, mm, uh, no, when your birthday, if I. Uh, don't eat seed soup, I feel uh, sad and lonely. So it's like I didn't have a birthday party. So eating sweet soup in Korea is very important. Mm -hmm. So I made a special uh, su uh, sweet soup and side dishes and, and sokuri bap with sokuri babsa. We sell, we sell the... Uh, Hanmi, I have a question for you. Do you, do you also uh, provide that for people when it's not their birthday? So it's a special they can have for their birthday and also people who just want a really nice meal by themselves, they can still order that, right? Mm, right, right. But it, the it, price is, 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 is adding sweet soup is a 13,000 won. Normally, mm. sokuri babsang is a 10,000 won. But special sokuri babsa as a thirteen thousand one with uh, sweet soup, mm -hmm. and you can buy a coupon and send it to your friends when your friend's birthday. So I will oh, send you the the uh, special sokuri babsa coupon when your birthday. You can come to this restaurant. You can eat. <laughs> Well, I'll see you in November, November 5th. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> so I made the, you know, the birthday card here, put on here. These are pictures of birthday parties. They made a reservation. So uh, one of uh, my colleagues so have a birthday, so. I prepared. Mm. Uh, I posted some touching stories about birthday at Papsa and on Facebook. The this right one is a delivery. Some on uh, some customer asked me to deliver with a sokuri like this. So I packed. Ah, finally, I'm on uh, on air. <laughs> CMB broadcast in Daejeon. Uh, I never dreamed of appearing on TV, but it came true. Uh, you know, it's program, it's a new restaurant and guest in Daejeon exchange their uh, present talk while eating. The uh, meat and food. It airs at uh, 11 a.m., uh, 5 p.m. for a week. At that time, a lot of calls to, uh, to the restaurants. Where is it? Where is the restaurant I want to visit? So I am busy and the, the phone is ringing. <sighs> The new customers have increased. Uh, shall we watch it for a second? Yeah, 
왠지 사장님이 되게 밝다. 네. 네. 그리고 뭔가 손님들에게 에너지를 주실 것 같은 그런 느낌이 오는 건 왜일까요? <웃음> 다들 그래요. 다들 어 여기 오면 어, 사장님한테 힘을 받고 간다. 아 근데 이제 무슨 일이냐면 네. 저는 이제 이렇게 계산을 하고 가시면 오늘도 화이팅 오늘 뭐 이렇게 아 화이팅을 해드려요. 해, 해, 해 드려요. 아 그러면. 다음에 오셔가지고 화이팅 하시는 사, 사장님 어디 계시냐고 <웃음> 네, 그 정도로 어, 저는 고객님들에게 힘을 아, 그냥 밥심만 주는 게 아니라 네. 그냥 화이팅 이 에너지까지 네. 자 그러면 이제 이곳이 아, 그러니까 꼭 무슨 어떤 아, 너무 맛있어가지고 음, 말을 못 하겠어요 <웃음> 예. <웃음> yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, so, <웃음> uh, these pictures I'm cooking myself. Uh, people ask me, "You don't look you cooking by yourself." So, you know, uh, I'm cooking, I'm serving, I'm managing three roles in my restaurants. So, see? 제가 오늘 오뎅 볶음을 만들어 볼게요. 우리 집 오뎅은 되게 맛있는데 제가 제일 이제 준비했어요. 오뎅이랑 양파, 계파, 그 다음에 저희 소스가 있어요. 그래서 기름을 두르고 I cook well. 인기가 많답니다. 오뎅 볶음이 평범하지 않아요. 간장 먹는 거. 오케이 오케이 아아 now the last <웃음> uh, I think the keys to success mm. uh, I'm going to tell you now uh, so secret very secret but I want to share, uh, share, share with you uh, the three reasons of success of Iwa Kalbi. The first is the menu's recipe. The meat seasoning recipe and kimchi recipe. I think it's very important. Uh, you have to, your own sauce. Next, touching emotions. And touching emotions, uh, I mean, touching the customer's emotions. Uh, we have uh, several things in my restaurant. Some customers come to my uh, restaurant to eat egg fries on the rice. It's a, sub, a surprise event. And some customers come to my restaurant to eat kakimchi. Kakimchi is a significant side dish in my restaurant. Some customs come to my restaurant to eat many kinds of side dishes. They feel well treated. Some customers come to my restaurant expecting what kind of music will be come out today. They feel comfortable in my restaurant. You know, it's very small reason, but if you touch your uh, touch your customers' emotion, you can create uh, regular customers. They come to regularly, once a week or twice a week. Yeah. Uh, the third, mm, third is owners must be have a multi persona. I uh, mean, that means uh, at the restaurant, I become a chef and I cook and 
I serve in guest as a hall manager and I'm owner and I communicate outside with the CEO uh, group. I joined many uh, uh, CEO meetings and collaborative groups uh, and SNS group to promote restaurants as much as possible. Uh, you know, a restaurant has a break times from two to five o'clock. At the time, I did I don't sleep. I went. I go out to meet new people and talking about my restaurant and uh, and and have a lesson. So to learn. So uh, outside of the restaurant, you uh, you can be a uh, you you are you are a CEO. So you have to uh, uh, promote, I mean, advertise your restaurant. So I I think you have a multi personal like uh, I have a, another job like teaching uh, children and. Uh, at the university, so it's personal mask. You have a lot of mask. <laughs> ah, yeah. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Hami. There's a, a couple of quick questions that students are asking. Um, oh, this, uh, this is a really good one. Um, one of the students asks, you know, how much would it cost to start like a franchise restaurant? What costs are involved and are there other things involved to open a franchise restaurant? Or is there is there also is there like a it of course it depends like Iwa Galbi is a big you know Galbi restaurant but there could be different sizes like your UK John restaurant was also a franchise was it similar setup costs? Yes, uh, in fact, I'm not I'm familiar with the money. <laughs> My husband. <laughs> Yeah, my husband in size of a uh, financial part, so, uh, uh, so I mean, but, I'm but not interested. Okay. No, it, it's okay. So, um, uh, I thought, um, I'll, uh, I'll ask uh, Hanmi to tell us later, so she, you can ask your husband to just give us a general, like if they wanted to set up one, what the cost. Another question was um, about the cost of the delivery. So the food that's delivered and the food that you eat in your restaurant, is it, the same price or is it different, more expensive for delivery? I mean, the doshirak price? Yeah, because it's a different product, right? So the pricing is different, I, I assume. Mm. Cost? Cost yeah. is not that expensive, but uh, you know, uh, that's why I uh, delivery fee, you know, and we have a delivery fee. But uh, uh, over ten, over I mean ten lunch boxes, I don't. Uh, uh, I pay the delivery fee. Customers uh, don't pay. That's why I please order the lunch box of upper ten or more. Ten, yeah. But if there's a less than ten, then they have to pay a delivery charge. Right. Uh, okay. But, uh, and also another person asked. Um, you know, when uh, they searched your restaurant in like a neighbor search and it comes up under the category of Matjip, they're asking how did you did you do something to get them to um, for it to come up in the search results? Is it or is it just organically it came into the search results? They're asking how you you put it in the search results. Uh... I, I, I'm assuming because it depends, like if it's Google or Neighbor or whatever. But if someone puts a blog, that automatically will come up, and it's related to the name. Uh, but so I don't think you didn't do anything. You mean specific. hashtag? Hashtag, Machi? Hashtag, yeah, yeah. So did you hashtag? Shinsongdong, Machi, Shinsongdong, Iwagalbi, Iwagalbi, Machi, Kakimchi. And uh, nice things are. Uh, so in, inside your, your blog post, your Instagram post, your Facebook post, you use hashtags. That's, mm, that's hashtag. 
And, and the last question, since we're, we're over time, the last one is, um, you know, it's not, it's not fair that you're torturing the students showing delicious food um, before lunch. So, <laughs> so that's a good compliment. <laughs> well, uh, Hanmi, thank you very much um, for sharing with, with us, you know, that what you've been doing to be able to be successful, especially during a very difficult time. Um, I just wanted to recap real quick. It seemed that you focused on diversifying your, your product, the way you served it, who you served it to. You focused on doing the doshirak, the, the delivery, the different, um, the way, the, the, the sokori papsang, like the, mm -hmm. the way it was delivered, to focus on visually stimulating as well as and focusing on good quality. You also focused on how the food was presented by doing uh, the sokori uh, papsang. Uh, I really like how you you did kind of emotional marketing based on nostalgia, where you know your target market is 40 to 60 year old. So you're, the way they ate the doshirak with the fried egg, the, the music that you chose, the interior, um, also um, by focusing on uh, birthday special events uh, to be able to overcome the COVID-19 period. So, Oh, there's one other question. Thank uh, you. <laughs> Instead uh, of me, you explain uh, all what last, I want to say. Last, last question. Uh, one of the foreign students would like to know, is it possible to open this franchise in another country? Maybe you don't know the answer to that, but if you could let no, me no, know they later. Closed. They closed. The Iwagai is closed. So it's only closed. Uh, uh, it, it start, uh, it does start uh, restaurant as a franchise, but mm -hmm. they closed. So uh -huh. only you are going to be in Daejeon, uh, stay, uh, survive. So, so Hanmi, then if, if you wanted to franchise your restaurant, if somebody mm -hmm. wanted to do it in their country, you could help them open a restaurant. Is that possible? Yes, yes. So, okay. next, mm -hmm. oh, my plan, my plan, uh, Kimchi and Sokuri Babsang and Hanu uh, Korean Hanu uh, uh, beef ribs. I combined with Iwasu Yukejang. Ah, uh, Hanmi, can you stop? Can you stop sharing your um, your PowerPoint? I want to take a picture of all the students with you. So everybody, so this is what we're so going to do. So many students. <laughs> Yeah, because she could, she could only see five of you, or in one of them's me, so, so she can see all your beautiful faces. So uh, please take your mouse, go down below. Remember last time we did the same thing. Go to reaction. Please put in a reaction, uh, and then I'm going to do a screenshot so I, everybody like a wave or a happiness or whatever. It only lasts a few seconds, so please quickly put in a reaction. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Hold on. I'm going to do one more. Hold on. Just one second. Okay. One more time. Hold on. One more time. Reaction, please. Hot to. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Uh... Because when I upload this video to uh, YouTube, um, I'm going to put this photo as the, the photo for the video. So everybody, uh, let's give um, uh, Lee Han Mi, Dr. Lee, uh, a nice little applause. Thank you very much for presenting for us. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, my English. <laughs> no, you did fine. You did fine. And it was really nice to see, you know. Uh, Next time we'll be fine. In the first time. Oh. <laughs> It's okay. So everybody, if you get a chance, you have to go down to Daejeon uh, to try some of the beautiful food here, all right? Everybody, I'll see you wait, later. Wait a minute. Like, Aka, Aka. Oh, wait a minute. Aka, uh, he uh, uh, say the song of, I played the song and he said, uh, Sunny. So next time visit Daejeon, <laughs> I treat you. <laughs> Whoa. Aka, okay, I'm okay. I'm coming with you then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hanmi. So, uh, food and beverage management. Uh, let's. Uh, we're going to switch back to our normal class um, uh, URL. 
So once I finish here and close this link, I'm going to open the link to our class. So please join us in our class. It'll be just a brief, uh, brief class. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Hanmi. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody.